The anonymous quote goes, Our flag does not fly because the wind moves it. It flies with the last breath of each soldier who died protecting it. One of those soldiers who died protecting it was Utah Marine Staff Sergeant Taylor Hoover. He died at 31 years old protecting Americans and Afghan nationals. I know he's standing right behind me and on this field cheering me on, probably saying that's my girl. It was love at first kiss for Hoover's fiance Nicole Weiss. They'd been together a little more than two years. Taylor Hoover is by far the best thing that has ever happened to me. We came into each other's lives at a time where we needed each other the most. I've heard that I've saved him, but the honest truth is that we saved each other. The celebration of life was meant to share goofy stories, ones that truly represent who Taylor was. There is in fact a science to giving hugs. Taylor gives the best hugs. To never, ever, ever let Taylor do laundry because he doesn't believe in separating the colors from the whites. Hoover played football at Hillcrest High School and always wanted to be a Marine. After, at 11 years old, he witnessed the 9-11 attacks. He wanted to exemplify honor, courage, and commitment, the Marine Corps values. The haka was performed, which is typically used in times of war, but in this case, it was used to celebrate Taylor's life. Taylor's biggest love and his biggest priority was his family and Nicole. His best friend of 20 years, Kaylee Snedeker, says he had the biggest heart, a contagious laugh, and loved his family more than anything else. I'm going to make sure that his memory lives on forever, and I hope you guys do too.